Do management consultants have a luxurious travel lifestyle? In this video, we will answer this question. Hi everyone, my name is Johannes and welcome to this channel. Welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I want to share my learnings and experiences from my own current journey in management consulting to help you become successful in management consulting while also living a balanced life. And if you're new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe to it. Also leave a thumb up and hit the bell. This will help you that you don't miss any new video. And today we have an interesting topic. We will answer the question, do management consultants have a luxurious travel lifestyle? And you know, many people who think about management consulting have this kind of image in their head. So those people in their very fancy suits who fly around the world and only living in fancy hotels. And I certainly had a similar image when I wanted to become a management consultant. But when I gained some experience myself in management consulting, I realized that some of this is true, but some of that isn't. So before we talk about how consultants actually travel, we have to talk a little bit about how management consulting works. Because the thing is that typically as a management consulting team, you work at the client's office. And the reason for that is that the client typically pays a lot of money for you as a consulting team. So obviously the client is more comfortable is the, if the consulting team is working at the client's office because this makes the communication much easier. And this means that a consulting team is typically from Monday morning until Thursday evening at the client's office. And there are two problems with that. The first problem is that this is a very exhausting travel lifestyle that consultants typically have. And this is not for everyone. So consultancies need to make this traveling as comfortable as possible to attract young talent. The second issue is that during the traveling, it's very, very hard to be productive. So consultancies also need to make an effort to keep their workforce very productive during that traveling time. And these are the two reasons why consultancies typically spend a lot of money on traveling. But with that being said, let's talk about how traveling in management consulting actually looks like. And we will talk about four aspects. First, we will talk about travel within cities. Second, we will talk about hotels. Then we will talk about flights. And at the end, we will talk about team events. So let's talk about aspect number one. Let's talk about traveling within cities. And typically this means that you travel between the airport, the hotel, the client and restaurants. And if you sum up all the time that you spend traveling within a city, you can roughly say that you spend between one hour and three hours on average in management consulting traveling within a city. And what you do most of the time is that as a consulting team, you use a taxi. In very rare occasions, you sometimes also use public transport, but this only if there is a very good connection and is much faster than traveling within a taxi. Also, some consultancies, especially um, the large ones in large cities, have their own driving services. And this has two benefits. First of all, um, it's more comfortable, obviously. But second, it's also better for the confidentiality. Because very often, if you travel as a consulting team within cities, you also want to be productive. And this means that you make calls, that you work on some slides, that you maybe also talk to your colleagues or discuss important things with the partner. And obviously, it's a huge risk if you talk about confidential things in a taxi, for example, because this taxi driver also talks to other taxi drivers. So there is a big danger that uh, potential secrets of your projects get leaked. And this is another reason why consultancies very often use driving services, because then they typically have one driver and this makes it much easier to keep things more confidential. Let's talk about the second aspect. Let's talk about hotels. So usually as a consulting team, you spend the entire week from Monday up until Thursday in hotels. And you actually spend a lot of time there. So typically you come back from the client, let's say between six or seven in the evening. Then you spend the entire evening in the hotel and also obviously the night and the morning until breakfast. So this means that you do many things in the hotel. So in the evening, you typically take the time to have dinner with your team, maybe at a restaurant from the hotel. After that, you go up to your room or maybe your uh, team booked a um, executive room or something like that. 
and there you do some additional work like working on slides for example. In the morning you're also in the hotel for example if you do breakfast usually also with your team. So you spend a lot of time there and don't forget that you also do a lot of free time activity there like doing sports or relaxing in the evening. So the hotel is a very important part in the life of a management consultant and typically management consultants sleep in the large hotel chains like Hyatt, like Marriott and so on. And the reason for that is that many consultancies have special rates um, with these large hotel chains because most chains are very international and in most large cities you will find a hotel from a certain chain and obviously this is very comfortable for large consulting firms if they have those fixed rates with those chains because this ensures the consultancies very often have a good price if their consultants are traveling and on the other hand um, the large hotel chains have a kind of security because they know each year a certain amount of customers will sleep at their hotels. As a young consultant you should be aware that most hotel chains have reward systems and they can give you some benefits like a quick check-in, like um, upgrades to higher room categories or access to lounges. So whenever you sleep in a hotel chain always make it a habit to register for the reward system and really make use of that because the earlier you start the more benefits obviously you will have. And let's talk about the third category, let's talk about flights. And you usually fly management consulting on Monday in the morning, typically you take a flight let's say between 7 and 8 a.m. and again you fly back home on Thursday afternoon or in the evening. And keep in mind that flying is very time consuming because you need time to get to the airport. Then if you're at the airport you have to go through security, maybe you have to check in some luggage and also you have boarding, some waiting time maybe if your flight is delayed, then you have the time, then you do offboarding and then you need to drive to the client. So it's very very time consuming to fly. And depending if you have a national or international flight it's easy to say that you spend at least 5 to 10 hours every week as a management consultant um, with flights. And the key thing is that since this is a lot of time for you, you need to stay productive. And that's why strategy consultancies very often fly business in uh, domestic flights and they fly first class in international flights. And the reason for that is that it's just more comfortable for the consultant and also obviously if you fly business or first class you have a priority boarding, you have much more room in your seat and this makes you just more productive and you actually can use more time to work on content for your project. Other consultancies that are not a strategy typically fly more often economy class but this highly depends on the company. So what you usually try to do if you're flying is that during the flight you try to use the time to um, work on some slides, maybe you do some organization or if you're waiting at the airport you use the time to talk to your teammates, just have some fun or maybe discuss some uh, project related topics. People ask me a lot do consultants also use the train and the answer is yes sometimes if you travel a short distance where it also makes sense to use the train. This can save you some time, it's better for the environment, it usually saves some money for your company and you are more productive. So especially if you travel short distances I think it makes a lot of sense and to use the train instead of flying. Keep in mind that most airlines also have reward systems so it makes sense to join as early as possible because this will give you some benefits like a priority check-in or getting access to lounges at the airport. Let's also talk about the fourth category team events and it's also very important in management consulting to not only be productive, to not only work on the project but to also have a very good time with your teammates because this will help you to keep the entire atmosphere on a project much more positive and it just makes work more fun. So most consultancies have a habit that they do at least one team event every second week. And what you typically do is that you go together with your team to a fancy restaurant to have a very nice dinner where you have good conversations, where you have fun, where you just can you know take some time off from work. Sometimes you're also doing more fun activities like uh, playing laser tag for example, maybe going to a theater or doing an outdoor sports activity. The important thing here is that you really use the time because this is a time where you don't talk about work, you typically try to talk about private things, you try to have a nice evening and bond with your teammates because this is also really a very important aspect in management consulting. 
Of course, I'm interested what you think about this traveling lifestyle in management consulting. So please let me know in the comments. Also, if this brought value to you, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a thumb up and also hit the bell button. This will help you that you don't miss any new video that can help you to become successful in management consulting. And with this being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a successful day and talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes. <music>